we often get asked the question from our customers, um, should I be laser cutting or should I be stamping our, these particular parts? And a lot of it comes down to really what, what, what is your ultimate goal as a customer? What's, you know, what's, the end, what's the end goal here? What's the end result of the product you're looking to produce? So there's advantages and disadvantages to both processes. Uh, here at Laser Technologies, we do, we do both laser cutting, stamping, and notching. Uh, so we have a really good feel for <coughs> uh, how to help you make the best decision for your particular product line. And we're able to uh, cost uh, any of those processes based on your particular needs. One of the questions we often get because our name is Laser Technologies is, that's great, I'm doing prototype quantities or proof of concept, can you take me to the next level? Yes, we can. We do both laser cutting and stamping, so we can take you from that prototype proof of concept all the way through production, and we can do small production on your aerospace laminations that are a half inch diameter up to laminations that are the size of a hydroelectric or a turbine generator. So we pretty much cover the gamut when it comes to stamping and producing parts or methodology, whether it's a laser cut or a stamped part. The next question that I often get from customers is, what's right for me? What process do I need? A lot of things drive that process. Uh, number one would be your quantity. Number two would probably be your tolerances and accuracy requirements. And those are like 1A, 1B. I would call them equally important, but one or the other will drive that process. And we can walk you through that and get you to a point where you can make an educated decision on what's my ROI on this and does it make sense for me to laser cut 10,000 parts or does it make sense for me to stamp 10,000 parts because it's a recurring or because I need that absolute tolerance, square corners of a progressive die, some of the features you get in different processes. But some of the uh, variables that really come into play uh, are the, the number one, timing. Um, how quickly do you need the parts? Uh, if, you need, if you need the part quickly, uh, laser cutting is going to be probably the best way to go if the tooling doesn't exist already. Uh, with a laser cut part, um, we're able to essentially program, create, and design a part off of a drawing or print or, in the case of motor repair, uh, a, a, a lamination that we reverse engineer. Uh, once that program's created, we just essentially put a tool path to it. Uh, we, we cut material to a certain size, load it on the machine, and let the machine take it away and cut the part. Um, that process, on average, could take you know, days based on production capacity, up to weeks depending on volume, but it's a very quick process. Stamping, on the other hand, might be a lengthier process, especially if the tooling isn't already designed and built. Uh, typically with stamping, there's gonna be anywhere from an eight week to up to a 16 week lead time in tooling design and tooling build. <clears throat> Once that tool is built, the procurement of the material uh, needs to be made. Sometimes it's made up front with the die, so it doesn't affect it too much. But in the end, you're, you're, you're typically looking at anywhere from an eight to maybe 20 week lead time before you actually hit the first part. I get asked a lot what are the pros and cons of a stamp versus a laser cut part. And one of the advantages, the clear advantages to stamping is you get consistent, repeatable, exact duplicate parts. They don't move, so when you're stamping them, you get the exact part over and over. The next thing that comes into play is cost. Um, laser cutting being a faster process is great, but the disadvantage would be <clears throat> the time it cuts to actually produce that part is much longer than a stamp part. On a stamp part, once you have the tool in place, you're hitting the part and you're getting you know, parts out every second. Where that same part might take 30 seconds to a minute to laser cut. So there's, there's quite a speed difference as far as parts per minute, parts per hour between laser cutting and stamping. In the end, stamping <clears throat> tends to be, well, will be a lower cost per part in most instances when the volumes are higher. And that leads into volume. Um, volumes will play a big part in your ROI between laser cutting and stamping. 
uh, the cost of a tool needs to be amortized into the volume of parts you plan on doing. So an average tool, depending on the size of the part, could range anywhere from $8,000 for a simple compound tool up to a quarter million dollars for a very complex progressive tool. Uh, so you need, to be, you need to take that part cost, or I'm sorry, that die cost, and amortize it into the number of parts you're gonna do over the life of the product in order to get a true cost of what your lamination might be. Uh, so those are things to take into consideration with stamping a laser cut part based on speed of cutting will be a little bit more expensive part to part but may be less expensive for the overall volume of the project based on the number of laminations. As an example, if you're only doing 100 parts, you know, you may only spend, you know, hundreds to a thousand dollars to make those parts laser cutting where you might need to invest eight or ten thousand dollars into a tool to make those same hundred parts. So the choice is really yours based on what your product life is and what the uh, annual estimated usage of those laminations are. With the laser process, we require a little bit more tolerance and people always ask, well, you've got the latest cutting edge fiber optic machines. Why can't I get the same type of tolerance that I would in a stamped part? And the easy answer to that is kinetic energy and inertia. The machine is a CNC machine. When you're laser cutting, something's always moving. So there's a little bit of lag or there's a little bit of backlash or there's something involved to that process that you don't have inherent to the stamping. So if you're looking for a half a thousandth tolerance part, you'll get that from stamping where we may need a thousandth on a laser cut part. The other thing to consider is sharp corners. If you're running a really small part, really uh, high alloy material, you're heavily saturated in a high frequency motor and those sharp edges and tight clearances and air gap are gonna be important to you. You've gotta have sharp corners at the end of your features or fingers. That's a stamp part It would require a, a process like a progressive die. A laser will not produce a square corner part. If you can live with three or four thousandths, maybe five thousandths, depending on the tolerance, we can put a little uh, corner on things, a radius inside a corner, a radius on the outside a corner where that heat signature wants to blow that corner away. Uh, you can live with a laser cut part and we do tens of thousands of those in a production environment. So it's not a bad process or one process isn't better than the other. It's which process is right for you. So we'll help you find which process is correct and which will give you the results you want. Um, our typical tolerance is on laser cutting are plus or minus a thousand on small parts. Uh, whereas if we stamp that part, uh, we would probably be in the plus or minus half a thousandth range. So those are some of the things to consider between laser cutting and stamping. And here at Laser Technologies, we're, help, we're here to help you walk through that process. Uh, we have both uh, manufacturing processes available uh, to, to evaluate. And it's not to say that, and we've done this many times with our customers, we've started with the laser cutting process and the products evolved to where we've taken them into stamping or notching uh, once the volume's increased and sales have increased on that product. So we're here to work with you. We're here to help you. Either way, we can stack full cores for you. We'll give you full certifications. We can do all of the FAI requirements and all of the extra processing because NADCAP for heat treat. So if you're looking for stamping or you're looking for laser cutting, ask us, we can help you through that.